Hello everyone. Uh, so today is a cold rainy day and I thought I would make my uh, family some cookies. So we're going to make a chocolate no-bake cookie recipe. Uh, this is a cookie recipe that you melt some of the ingredients together on the stove and then you mix it together and um, portion them out. So that's what we're doing in today's video. So I am going to start with uh, doing the dry ingredients. It says in the recipe to um, measure out the dry ingredients and the peanut butter and the vanilla together first um, just so that everything is prepared so that once the hot mixture is done we can pour it right in because it does uh, stiffen up quite quickly. So we're also going to put the parchment paper out too to ahead of time. So I'm going to double this recipe. Um, I think that I'm going to be giving some of these away so I'm going to double this recipe. So I'm using quick oats for this. We need three cups of quick oats per recipe. So I'm going to put about six cups in here. I used to make a recipe very, very similar to this when I was younger. Um, the only difference was it wasn't, it wasn't baked, but it was um, melted chocolate rather than cocoa powder. And it had coconut in it. I think if you wanted to add coconut to this, you could. And it didn't have peanut butter in it. So it was a little bit different. So we're going to measure out six cups. Each recipe should make about 30 cookies approximately. Depends on how big you make the, the clusters once they're on the parchment paper. Not sure if I mentioned I'm using quick oats. Okay, so that's six. And then it says one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to add uh, two for double the recipe, but I'm going to add a little bit extra too. A little bit more flavor. And then half a cup of peanut butter per recipe, so we're going to need a whole cup. I'm going to eyeball this. Getting peanut butter out of your measuring cup is not pleasant, so we're going to eyeball this. <laughs> I'm just using regular smooth peanut butter. I'm sure you could use whatever kind you like. It looks almost like a cup. There we go. Okay, so now we have to heat the rest of the ingredients on the stove, but first we're going to put the parchment paper down. So let me move this over. You want to have the parchment paper um, put down first because the sugar mixture with the cocoa and the what else is in there butter sugar cocoa powder milk needs to come to a boil and it's because it's got sugar in it it's probably going to thicken quite a bit because it has to be boiled for at least three minutes I think it says um, so we want to make sure that the parchment paper is set out ahead of time so it's ready just in case they set up really really quickly So because I'm doubling this recipe, this should make about 60 of these, depending on how big I make them. So 40 to 60, I would say. So I'm just going to put out a few sheets here to make sure there's enough room. There we go. I think hopefully that's enough. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, so let's get ready to heat the rest of the ingredients on the stove. Okay. So let's put the butter in first. So we need half a cup per recipe. So that is one whole cup. So that's half of this block. Melt that in here. Got a little bit uneven. There we go. Okay. I'm going to melt that down. I'm going to chop that down just so it melts a little better. Okay. And we need two cups of sugar per recipe. I'm thinking this is what is going to thicken the recipe uh, because it says it has to be put at a rolling boil for three minutes. So I'm thinking it's going to thicken the mixture kind of like jam almost so that the cookies hold together. Let me get a 
get a spatula. Okay, so let's put the sugar in while the butter's melting here. So all together I'm going to need about four cups. lost count hold on I need to look back and see how much I just put in <laughs> okay so the camera showed three cups all together I've put in so far <laughs> I wanted to make sure I get the correct amount here three and a half this is a lot of sugar and four okay and for the milk we need half a cup per recipe so one whole cup I want to put this in right away just in case the butter isn't enough for the sugar so it doesn't burn okay so I'm gonna wait for the rest of the butter and the sugar to melt a little bit and then we're gonna stick in the cocoa powder I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm what I'm looking at here so the butter's still melting Okay, so while this is still melting, I'm going to portion out the cocoa powder. So I need a quarter of a cup per recipe, so about a half a cup all together. Um, usually I will sift the cocoa powder, but because it's being melted, I don't think I need to do that. Chop up the butter here. Okay, so I got a quarter cup measure here. So we're going to do two of these. One, two. Hopefully, this gets no lumps. I don't think it will because it's all going to melt. I do, I really do think that the way this is going to thicken is by the three minutes of rolling boil. It reminds me a lot of how you make jam. So I think that's how this is going to thicken itself. Okay, so I'm going to wait until some of this is incorporated and then I'll give you a look once it starts boiling. Okay, so I think because there is a little bit of lumps, I do think they're going to melt, but just to make sure, I think I'm going to use a whisk and just kind of whisk them out a little bit here. Surprisingly, this is already thickening a little bit. I think that's why the recipe says to make sure that it's everything's prepared before you do this step just so that it doesn't thicken really hard before you get them all onto the parchment paper. There we go, that's better. Okay, so it's starting to boil. I'm gonna turn it to medium. So this needs to be at a rolling boil, which is like this, where you stir it and it's still boiling, that's a rolling boil for exactly three minutes. And because there's sugar in this, I would recommend um, stirring it the entire time. Make sure to scrape the edges so you don't get burnt. Turn it down a little bit. Still stirring. We got another minute or so to go. I'm just making sure that I'm scraping the bottom as I'm doing this so it doesn't burn. This, there is a lot of sugar in this and it's very similar to how you make jam. 
So don't walk away from this. It'll boil all over your stove and create a big mess. <laughs> so you don't want that. It smells delicious. <laughs> it smells very chocolatey. I did also add before the boiling process, I also did add um, a little pinch of salt. Um, that's not in the recipe. That's my own thing that I do with baking. Um, because there is so much sugar in this, um, I wanted to balance it out a little bit with a little pinch of salt. I am incredibly curious on how this is going to work because like I was saying in the beginning of the video, um, the recipe that I used to make when I was younger was made with melted chocolate, not with cocoa powder and definitely not sugar like this. Usually it was melted chocolate chips and oatmeal, um, pretty much anything you wanted to throw in it, coconut. Um, sometimes a little bit of peanut butter, but not too much because it usually would affect the setting of the cookie and then we would just portion them out. But this is a little different where the sugar and the cocoa powder is all cooked together. So I, that's why I really wanted to try this recipe. Okay, we're done now. Okay, so I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna give you a little look and then we're gonna put it all together. What it looks like, I wanna do this quite quickly just so it doesn't set too quickly. Okay, so let's pour this into the bowl, the mixture of oats and stuff that we have in the bowl. So here's the mixture, we're supposed to just pour it right in. Right over top of the peanut butter and everything. And then we're supposed to mix this all together. The peanut butter, I just wanna make sure it gets mixed in. I had thought about putting coconut in this, but um, since I've never made this recipe before, I don't want to throw it off, so. And I'm not sure how well it would go with the peanut butter, so we're going to make it exactly like it shows in the recipe. With the exception of the salt, obviously. It looks good. Just making sure I got all the oats nice and covered. I don't know if this is going to quite make 60. We'll see. There we go. I think that's completely done. So now let's start scooping these out. Get my cookie scoop here. I'm just going to use a scoop like this. I'm really curious to see how these are going to turn out. I'm sure they'll be delicious. I know my kids will love them. They've got peanut butter in them. They like anything with peanut butter. <laughs> I feel like I should do this a little faster. <laughs> There's a lot in here. As I did say, I am going to be giving some of these away. Hopefully, as long as my children don't eat them all. Before every time I've ever made these, I've done them with a, just a, like a tablespoon. I like it better like with the scoop. Works good with the scoop. It's less messy. Okay, so I'm gonna finish doing these off camera and then I'll give you a look at how many we got. Okay, so I just finished putting them all out. I got 46 in total. I think I would've got the full 60 if I had used a smaller scoop. So yeah, that's what they look like. Pretty nice and uniform, they look delicious. 
It doesn't actually say in the recipe how long to let them set for, but by the time I got to the end of the bowl, they were already starting to get a little stiff. So I'm gonna let them sit for about an hour or so, and then I'll show you what they look like. Hopefully they'll be set by then. Okay, so it's only been maybe 20 minutes and I think they're already set. Um, so I'm gonna give you a look. Let me show you. See, they're already set. So let's give this a taste. I think these are gonna be delicious. I did sneak a little taste off the spoon already, so. Not bad. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. So that's good, the cocoa powder really balanced that out. Mm hmm Texture on the inside. Mm hmm I'd probably add up maybe a tiny, like a little bit more of a pinch of um, salt to it. Otherwise, they're pretty good. Mm hmm I hope you guys enjoyed making no-bake chocolate cookies with me. Um, I would like to thank everybody that has subscribed and if you haven't subscribed and you like my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.